So hi and welcome to another video on the R7000 Netgear Nighthawk router here. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock this router. If you want to know how to update this to advanced tomato firmware from the original Netgear Genie, check out the links in the description as well as how to back up the configuration and to upgrade it. So what you're going to need today is going to need these commands. First one is to check the current speed of this router. It tells you here anyway. But I'll show you how to do that. That means to go to tools and we need to go to system command. You can see here you paste this command in, which is already there. And you execute it and it gives you the output of the current device. Now we're going to plot this to 1200 hertz. You can also do it to 1400, although some people have reported some issues. This is at your own risk as it can invalidate the warranty and it can also create some heat issues. So what we want to do is we want to put the NVRAM here to 1200, execute that command. We will now set the frequency level to 1200, 800. Once it's finished doing that, you can check the frequency. You'll see here, once we've run that command 1200, it now tells us it's 12.8. And also under the overview, it's at 1200 hertz. What you need to do now is you can run that for a while and check the temperature. Make sure it's not getting too hot. I know mine isn't because I've been running it for a while. See a few temperatures down here, by the way. Once you're happy with that, you then can commit these changes. Let's go back to this console, commit and reboot. Once you've done that, commit the changes and reboot, you'll now see here at 1200 hertz. And that will now stay. To do the 1400, you can go to tools, go to the same part, system commands. Copy this, but change it to 1400. I suggest you probably keep an eye on the temperatures of this one, as it can cause some problems. Click execute. Check the NVM frequency. You can see now it's at 1400, 800. Commit those changes for a reboot. Sometimes it gives us unknown error message, but it does seem to reboot it. So give it a second. What it doesn't give you is an update, even though it says error unknown. <clears throat> it's rebooting the router behind the scenes. You can see here if I type one line two, it won't bring anything up. And that's because it's currently rebooting, although it's not telling you. Again, during this process, you will lose connectivity. So just to bear in mind, if you've got people on the network with you to make sure they're aware or do it when people aren't using it. Or if you don't care, just kick them off. It will take a while to come back on. When it does, you'll see here now the core frequency is set at 1400. I'll just keep an eye on the core temperature. So if you like this, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to do anything else. Check out my other videos in the description and I'll see you all again later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.